militaries all over the world are developing and testing futuristic weapons that look like something out of a James Bond film. Here are some of the most advanced weapons currently being developed, ranging from underwater rifles to guns that require a fingerprint to fire. Corner Shot Corner Shot is a weapon accessory invented by the Israeli Defense Forces in cooperation with American investors. It was designed in the early 2000s for use by SWAT teams and special forces in hostile situations, usually involving terrorists and hostages. Its purpose is similar to that of the periscope rifle. It allows its operator to both see and attack an armed target without exposing the operator to counterattack. Corner shotguns can either be used as a semi-automatic pistol or a grenade launcher. ADS Amphibious Rifle The ADS is a Russian assault rifle specially made for combat divers. It is a bullpup layout and is chambered in the 5.45 by 39 mm and 74 rounds. The ADS can adapt a suppressor and optical sights. The ADS is an assault rifle that is designed for use underwater. It is being used by Russian special forces and can fire 700 rounds per minute at a range of up to 25 meters. The weight of the gun, including the grenade launcher and without sight, is approximately 4.6 kilograms. AA-12 Assault Shotgun AA-12 Assault Shotgun is a fully automatic shotgun that can fire 300 rounds per minute. It also has a significant lack of recoil when compared to other shotguns. The shotgun fires in fully automatic mode only. However, the relatively low cyclic rate of fire of around 300 rounds per minute enables the shooter to fire semi-automatically de facto with brief trigger pulls. The Magpul FMG-9 This is a prototype folding submachine gun. Designed by Magpul Industries in 2008, it is a submachine gun that folds up into a rectangular block the size of a laptop battery. It is made out of polymer in place of metal, reducing the weight. The FMG-9 never left the prototype stage and never saw widespread production on any level as the item was only produced by Magpul as a proof of concept. Its length is about half a meter and weighs about half a kilogram. Armatex IP-1 the Armatex IP-1 is a magazine-fed, semi-automatic pistol which uses smart gun technology. The pistol is chambered for the 22 long rifle rimfire cartridge. It is designed and manufactured by the German company Armatex. The IP-1 is marketed as a James Bond-style handgun that can only be fired by an authorized user. The Armatex IP-1 can't be used against you. It requires its fingerprint-enabled watch to be within 25 centimeters of it to fire. The Armatex IP-1 weighs 518 grams with an effective firing range of 69 meters. Chris Vector The Chris Vector is a series of weapons based upon the parent submachine gun design developed by the American company Chris USA. They use an unconventional delayed blowback system combined with inline design to reduce perceived recoil and muzzle climb. The Chris Vector is a submachine gun designed to reduce the barrel riding up after a shot of 95% and backwards recoil by 60%. It can fire between 1,200 to 1,400 rounds per minute and weighs about 2.7 kilograms. The FN-57 the FN-57 is a semi-automatic pistol designed and manufactured by FN Herstel in Belgium. The FN-57 is a pistol famed for its ability to penetrate many types of body armor. It is so powerful, in fact, that US civilians can only buy it with sporting ammunition. Sales of the 5.7 were originally restricted to FN to military and law enforcement customers, but since 2004, the pistol has also been offered to civilian shooters for personal protection, target shooting, and similar uses. The 5.7 is currently in service with military and police forces in over 40 nations. Personal Halting and Stimulation Response the Personal Halting and Stimulation Response Rifle is a prototype non-lethal laser dazzler developed by the United States. 
Its purpose is to temporarily disorient and blind a target. Blinding laser weapons have been tested in the past, but were banned under the 1995 UN Protocol on Blinding Laser Weapons. The phaser is a low-intensity laser. It is not prohibited under this regulation, as the blinding effect is intended to be temporary. It also uses a two-wavelength laser. Its name is likely derived from the fictional phaser of Star Trek lore, which is known for being depicted as an easily portable directed energy weapon, which has a lethal mode and a mode that can strike living targets with non-lethal temporarily incapacitating effects. USFA Zip Zip is a new kind of pistol that redesigns the gun using plastic, leaving space to customize the gun by attaching extended stocks and larger ammunition clips. Although given some praise for its innovative concept, affordability and accuracy, it was widely panned for its frequent mechanical malfunctions, with failures to feed ammunition and eject spent casings being reported by a large number of shooters. The poor reliability of this gun made it a commercial failure, causing the eventual demise of the USFA in 2017. XM25 CDTE The XM25 is a grenade launcher that spirals grenades through the air, tracking how far they travel so that they can detonate at the right moment. It was fielded to soldiers serving in the war in Afghanistan in 2010, after which malfunction and 2013 program budget cuts delayed official entry into service, planned for early 2017. It fires 25mm grenades that are set to explode in mid-air or near the target. A laser rangefinder in the weapon is used to determine the distance to the target. The user can manually adjust the detonating distance by up to 10 feet shorter or longer. The Rhino The Rhino is the most innovative development in revolver technology in decades, if not since the creation of the revolver itself. The Chopper Rhino is a revolver that recoils straight back into your hand rather than upwards, making it more accurate. Unconventional in appearance and superior by performance, the Rhino fires from the bottom of the cylinder rather than the top. This dramatically reduces muzzle rise and recoil felt by lowering the axis of the bore almost to the palm of the shooter's hand. An aluminium alloy frame and barrel should make the Rhino lightweight and easy to carry. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing and bye-bye.